What is up everybody? My name is Noah Banks, also known as the Millennial Health Coach, where I help millennials like you hack your busy schedule to live a happier, healthier life. And today we'll be going over the three steps to getting six pack abs. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right, before we get to any of the steps, the biggest thing I want you to realize is when you're trying to get abs, you have to have a low body fat percentage because you could do all the ab exercises that you want to, but if you still have a belly of fat over it, you're not gonna see it. So you gotta remember, it's ideally you wanna be between eight to 12% body fat in order to see those abs. So step number one, I want you to have an ab visible diet. Ab visible. Now, in order to have an ab visible diet, what you have to do is a few things. One, make sure you're having enough protein in your body. This is between 0.8 to one gram of protein per pound of body weight. You wanna make sure you're consuming protein throughout the day, and that's because the more protein that you have, the more muscle you build after your workouts, and the more muscle you have, the less and less body fat that you'll have. So the second way I would say to have an ab visible diet is to get rid of all processed foods. It does nothing well for your body and in fact, it leads to a higher risk of cardiovascular disease. The third tip I would say to have an ab visible diet is to fill half of your plate worth of vegetables and fruits. That's right, you need to eat your vegetables because when you're doing this, one, you're keeping your calories low, you're also getting the right type of nutrients in your body to make sure that your body performs at its most optimal state. The last way to have ab visible diet, drink water. I suggest around two to three liters a day and this is so everything in your body is running smoothly. And remember, 70% of your body is water, so make sure you're drinking water. Step number two to getting six pack abs is to have an absolute workout program. Get it, absolute? So the way that you have an absolute workout is to have the right combination of weights and cardio. Now for the weights end, you wanna make sure you're doing full body workouts. Now this might seem strange, you're like, well, you know, why am I not separating body parts? No, the whole idea is to drop body fat. And the best way to do this is put your body under as much tolerable stress as you can. And by doing this, you do full body workouts. You're doing your shoulder presses, you're doing your bench presses, you're doing your rows, you're doing your deadlifts, and you're doing your squats, all the way down. And when you're doing that, your body's going to overdrive mode. And it's like, hey, I need to go ahead and start burning fat you also have to have the right amount of cardio. Now there's two different types of cardios that you can use for fat burning so you can see those abs. The first one, which is everybody's usually used to this one, which is low intensity steady state, which is known as LIS. So LIS is where you're going for around 25 to 30 minutes at a basically a moderate pace where your breathing's a little bit tough, but you're still going. It's like basically what you do when you're running on a treadmill, going on a bike and just going for around 25 minutes. Very light, but you're actually in a fat burning state if you do this right after a weightlifting workout. My favorite cardio is the high intensity interval training cardio. That's right, that HIT. HIT is one of my favorite types of training because of the fact that it one, it only takes around 12 to 15 minutes. And two, by doing that on one of your workout days, it's one of the most efficient ways to burn fat and keep your muscle. Remember, the more muscle you keep on, the less fat you keep on. So one of my recommendations for HIT cardio is to do around eight rounds of a one to three ratio. So this could be 30 seconds sprinting, and then one minute and 30 seconds of a nice jog. And you do this for around 10 to 12 rounds. It's gotta be tough, I promise. Step number three to getting six pack abs, do ab workouts. Now you may be wondering, why did I leave ab workouts to the end? And that's actually because I keep it on the lower end of my priority list when it comes to getting six pack abs. And this is because if you're not having an ab visible diet, or an absolute workout to help you burn fat, you're not gonna see those abs anyway from doing those ab workouts. But ab workouts are very important because you wanna make sure you're getting them stronger. So there's four parts of the abs that I really want you to focus on when doing your ab workouts. And the first, which to me is the most important, is your core. Literally, you use your core in everyday movements. When you're standing in line for lunch, when you're sitting down and sitting straight up, having good posture, that all requires core. The best way to attack your core is using planks. And literally, that's all you need to do. What I like to do is start off at 25 seconds and then literally bump it up five seconds every time I do the plank. So if you do that, I promise you, your core is gotta be super, super strong. The second part of your abs that you really want to focus on is the lower end. Now to focus on this lower end, that's basically the bottom abs, you want to make sure that you're doing any type of leg lifting movement. So this could be leg raises, knee raises, when you're doing the butterfly kicks or anything like that, anything that you're using your legs, you're gotta be using your lower abs. Then you want to focus on the upper abs. This happens when you use any type of crunching motion. So when you're doing the rope crunches, regular sit-ups, regular crunches, hand raises, all of that has got to be your upper abs. 
and my favorite part are the obliques, the cuts, you know, right? That that makes that V shape, that those lines are just, you know, you get what I'm saying. Obliques, this is basically anything that you're doing that's a twisting motion. So when you're taking cables, you're twisting, when you're doing Russian twists with a medicine ball or weight in your hand, anything that has that twisting motion, you gotta be working your obliques. And honestly, it's that simple to get six pack abs. All you have to do is have an ab visible diet, an absolute workout, and strengthen your abs with ab exercises. The one thing I have to say though, if you do this, the main key is doing it consistently. If you do this over and over and over and over again, you're gonna be watching those lines coming in. You gotta start seeing them blocks forming up. You gotta see two, then you gotta see four, then you gotta see six, you might see eight. So just make sure that you're sticking to those three steps and I promise you'll be having six pack abs in no time. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I do have one question. What is your favorite ab workout? Put it in the comment box below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button right there to stay up to date on all my upcoming videos. I hope you enjoy. You already know, embrace the hype.